Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the 18th day of June. Rich here at 3.50 in the morning, and radar is going to be very active and very colorful today. Showers and thunderstorms are going to be in greater supply today. And if you haven't had any rain for your yard yet, your chances do get better over the next three days. Again, they'll be random, so not every every town will get one every day. And I think there could be some stronger storms as we get towards Thursday, as far as maybe some severe thunderstorm warnings as well. We'll also look ahead to the weekend. If you are ready, let's get started this morning. I think we have a perfect setup for showers and thunderstorms today. There's a little trough of low pressure in north central Alabama, and along with this tropical air mass and a little afternoon heating, I think showers and thunderstorms will become numerous. Look at future radar. Later on today, just about any time, but especially in the afternoon and evening hours, some locally heavy downpours and maybe a couple of stronger storms as well. So showers and storms will be in better supply today with a high temperature up to about 89.90. Tonight's low 71. Light southwesterly winds 4 to 8 miles per hour. Tomorrow scattered storms around but still in decent supply. They'll be random. Not every town will get one. But uh, the Storm Prediction Center says areas northwest of Alabama could see some severe storms on Wednesday. When that system gets a little bit closer and the upper trough approaches on Thursday, I think we could see some stronger storms here in the state of Alabama. And so we think Thursday is the better day for the marginal severe weather risk, which covers much of northern and central Alabama with uh, damaging wind gusts, the main threat. In fact, they may actually increase it from a marginal risk to a severe to a slight risk by the time we get to Thursday. We'll see strong storms then possible as this uh, system moves through the area on Thursday. Uh, again, there will be some warnings, I think. And then the, behind that, the storms will start to thin out in number. They'll still be around Friday. They'll still be scattered. But uh, summer officially begins on Friday at 10.54 a.m. Central Daylight Time, the summer solstice, making it the longest day of the year officially. Scattered storms on Saturday. But I think it'll be a pretty typical day with a high temperature 90, 91, and uh, maybe some isolated storms on Sunday. Isolated meaning closer to a 20% rain chance. So here's the way we've got it. A 50-50 chance with a high around 92 on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be in the upper 80s to around 90 on Thursday. Showers and storms are likely. Then the storms thin out a little bit in number on Friday and a little bit more on Saturday to a more typical forecast. Look at the temperatures going back up. And then on Sunday, just a slight chance of an isolated storm. Hey, our weather app will keep you on top of where the storms are and where they're going to be, plus any uh, push notifications for watches and warnings because it knows where you are. If you don't have it, get it on your phone or tablet uh, today. Go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather. So that's it. That's all I have for you this morning. It is a regular day today, live on the radio from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, Jay, Emily, and Bailey the Wonder Dog, who is now investigating the neighborhood behind me. Meteorologist Ryan Stinnett and I talk weather on TV uh, on CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 5.50 a.m. There will be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. as we update the uh, latest from the Storm Prediction Center on that Thursday situation. And I hope you have a great day today. Stay weather aware with the uh, our weather app, which will keep you up to date on where the storms are. I'll see you later.